Hey there, everybody, it's Colors from Gaming. Today, in this gameplay, I am showing you this gameplay, gameplay specifically because how I played on this map was absolutely insane. I had so much fun, I had a blast playing it. I did really good, and how I played it is like I didn't play like went all straight for the captures and everything. I played defensively, but kind of offensively, same time. Gun I'm using is the AK-12 RIP. All I have for is the foregrip. Wait, let's. Why am I telling you this? I can just have a little thing come down. You guys can see it. And just one second, and then here it is. There it is, right there for you. And I really like about this gameplay is because I tried going to different flags. I did okay, and then I was like, all right, I'm doing pretty good. I was just trying to go to get trying to get, actually I was trying to get DNA, but. See right there, I messed up. I prioritized the guy that jumped off. When I, if I would have noticed there would have been a guy running up there, that's what I probably should have noticed. But I didn't because I was too busy going for kills. Definitely smart. Can't just go straight for kills. You got to go. Definitely really smart. And I realized that, and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go back to what I was doing, what was working. So I go back to it, having a ton of fun, and then he kills me. I'm like, alright, I need to pay attention, and you calm down, focus, I'm starting to get mad, I was about to rage quit, but then I realized I'm, I'm probably going to die here, but I was like, okay, I didn't die, happy, killed him, that was complete lucky, See, if I would have looked down and kept looking down the scopes, I would have died, but since I chose to not look down the scopes, I lived, and that saved me, that kept me alive, and, and the guys I was playing with, but not very smart. It just kept going for captures, and that is what allowed me to just wreck them. And then I saw him, I was so lucky to actually get both of those. I almost jumped off the edge. I tend to do that all the time on this map. I need to work on the jumping and where it lands and everything. I, <laughs> it's a big problem I have. Worst, I, I suck with it. I, I'm not too, I love this game. Play it all day, every day. Exosuits, so much fun, but I tend to get killed a lot when I fall on the map. That's where most of my deaths actually come from. And I was having so much fun. I mean, everyone's like, oh, they all, everyone should care about having a really high KD. And I'm like, well, I don't really care for my KD. Like, I, I see, I just waited there. I knew I saw him up there. He was going to go for it. It's like, okay. I got, I got that right there. That's why I love having support in my classes. And just so much fun. Always having assist kills. Helps a lot. And anyways, everyone cares about... KD, like all my friends are like, oh man, you have such good KD, blah, 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 blah. I don't really care for KD. I really don't. I don't care about my KD. I mean, if you do, then run those high score, high scoring streaks. If you want to get really high on KD, play the map you play best on. If you don't go to the map you're good on, just leave the lobby. If you know, if you know you're going to get into a lobby where you actually destroy, just try and stay in the lobby for as long as possible. And after this, after as soon as you like mess up on one round, Leave the lobby, find a better one. And once you find another lobby you're good at, stay with it. Keep doing the same thing. That's what I try to do. And it works out pretty okay with me. And then I pause that and I was like looking at the map, seeing if anybody's coming for it. And everyone would be like, oh, you're camping. I'm like, no, I'm protecting two flags. And it works really well for me on this game. Well, especially on this map. I mean, I could have probably done, I probably could have probably played a little bit better. Probably help my teammates teammates out a little bit more, and I could have. I chose not to. It's not my fault. Problem. And I really had a ton of fun playing this map. I mean, the class setup I used is actually pretty good. I enjoyed a lot. I mean, here I'm taking a look at it. And the class setup I have is the flat black jacket. I should have low. You can have black jacket or low profile, whichever one you prefer. I have blind dice. So I don't get hit killed by turrets or AI controlled skill, skill streaks, score streaks on it. Scavenger and hardwired, hardwire so I don't get killed. The reason why I have Atlas Forge 5 is so, say someone shoot me, I run on ammo, I can switch to it, and I can just pop them off real quick. I think I do that in this gameplay. I'm not sure, but I think I do. Can't really remember. And for my uh, score streaks, I got the UAV with extended time, assist points, and threat detection, aerial assault drone with AI and rockets. You can have rockets or just regular machine gun, but whichever one you want. I had the bombing gun with nothing attached, and the warbird with AI and rockets. I mean, you can't, you could just have without rockets, and you could spam it a little bit more. 
Yeah, I died right there because he jumped up and I was prioritizing trying to get points. That was my fault. Could have survived, I could have stayed alive, but I didn't. And then here's the halftime. And I started playing a little bit more. And then, see, he's just now a twin millimeter. I don't know what that scope is, but it looks really cool. So, so I, had, oh, oh, I forgot to mute everybody. That's why I had most of the audio is not really good in this video. And I'm having a lot of fun. I was like, you know, what? I was gonna go that way, and I knew everyone was gonna rush there, so I didn't want to die. And I decided, and I saw that soldier, and I was like, okay, go through here, kill anybody that comes through here. I was like, okay, he's probably gonna come through here. So I so, said, so, Salt Drone, since I have Blind Eye, it can't see me, it won't be able to shoot me. I won't be able to get killed by it, which I have no problem with. See how I got that kill? I sprayed him. I died right there. I could have boosted back, I could have, or I could have jumped up, I could have killed him. I didn't think about that at the time. I panicked, and I just tried to keep shooting him, but I, but I pretty much messed up. I feel stupid, because if you go back, like down the stairs, that guy was alive. That guy was alive. I was too stupid to notice him. And he, he's probably gonna kill me. He should have killed me, but he ended up killing me instead. That's fine. And, see, jumping, yeah, he he got me. Sentry gun got me because another teammate was around me. Kind of sucks, but it's fine. I still did actually pretty good this run. I think I did like 36 to something. That was kind of a douche move to steal a guy's kill, but uh, I don't really care because I don't really have anybody I'm playing with that I invited, so I'm pretty okay with stealing everybody's kill or helping get the kills. And I had a ton of fun, and then they started figuring out my attacking strategy. Which kind of made me really mad, and then I noticed I had a sniper drone. I was like, oh wait, maybe I can take it out. And I realized, no, I can't because it's too far away, and I won't be able to get sights on it. If I do, I would get taken out in the process. You know what? I'm just going to try and stay alive, try and stay in cover. But I can't get killed by it. I was really worried about that warbird getting me, and then I realized, wait, I have blind eye, it's not going to do anything. So I'm going to come down here, just wreck all the guys that are right here. Got nice run points. This is what here killed me. I was so pissed. There you guys, I jumped on the map. I knew I jumped over it. I was too late by the time I realized I was going to boost this side. But if I boost this side, I was just going to make sure I was going to die any more, even slower. So I decided to just kill myself real quick. Fine with that. With the bombing run, had my work, and I killed myself with my own bombing run. <laughs> A very sad attempt. I was like, wait. Oh, yeah, I did come in. I was like, oh, It's very depressing. And then I see his assault drone. I take it out. I, when I realized no one else th thinks of that in that lobby. I was the only one shooting each other's shooting their assault drones. No one else decided to shoot mine. But then again, I'm probably one of the only people who has blind eye. I used blind eye because I was in the lobby one time. And I kept raging about I was getting killed with sentry guns, and I was like, and the guy said, "Wait, you should put blind eye in your classes." And I was like, "Oh, that's actually not that bad of an idea because I usually have peripherals." And now I don't run peripherals anymore. I don't really see too big of a difference without peripherals. Unless I want to go completely silent, then I'll put it with the ball, ball 27 and go from there. Make a complete ninja class, so I can like ninja defuse and crap and a bunch of other stuff. I have a ton of fun playing this game. I hope they add like a, like a DLC weapon that's like a, like a SMG sniper, laser directed, uh, energy directed weapon. That I think would probably be the ideal amazing weapon for advanced warfare. I think that would be the best gun I would ever, I'd probably use that gun all the time. I would be using the ohm. But I can't use the ohm because when I use it, it switches to A4. If I use the A4, it switches with the ohm. People are like, oh, why don't you just still use it? It still counts kills towards it. And I'm like, actually, no. It doesn't count any kills towards my KD or towards the gun. So there's no point in using it if I can't get any. It doesn't count towards my KD or my gun. And they're like, wait, why don't you switch your gun throughout the, class, throughout the game? Because it doesn't count. I don't know what the problem is. I was really help. Uh, it's probably because it's because I got season pass and I got it early. But oh well. Maybe it'll fix after, I mean, after some other update or something. Oh, since the update, all the other guns got buffed up and nerfed and stuff. I noticed, I updated my Xbox today, and I noticed that the RW1, it feels weaker now. I'm going to make a gameplay and talk about why I feel that it's weaker. Because, I don't know what the problem is. I mean, that gun, uh, I used to be able to like, instant kill. I mean, I got the rail driver, like, today, and I could... I swear I could hit hit the shot and it wouldn't kill them even if it was point blank. 
I don't know what the problem was, but such I can't really, I don't really care. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, you're gonna kill me. I'll just place that right there. Just kill a bunch of people. It comes rolling through, we get a bunch of kills. This map, I, I always go ham. Every time I play on it, I love this map. I can play it all day. Really enjoy it. Wreck on this map every single time. And that does it for this video. Please hit that like button, share it with friends, subscribe, whatever. <laughs> and I will be leaving uh, another thing that you can pause the screen and copy my class if you want to use it. And peace.